Hey everyone, I'm Kayla. I'm Nancy. We're Stampy Before Anything Else. We're going to be showing you how to make a cute project, actually two cute projects. Right here. Using the paper pumpkin from the month of January of 2024. It's called Lovely Lavender, as you can see here. Which it's, is awesome. It's so cute. Mom I loves love purple. Purple's my favorite color, <laughs> even though I don't paint with it. As, 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 yeah, uh, you, you would think I'd have a purple room, you know. But it's still cute. It is. And so mom's going to show you how to make the stuff. Um, well, actually, she's just going to show you how to make this one, right? Mostly. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And, and then I'll walk you through this one at the end. Yeah. So let's get started. Okay. Here we go. All right. So this is called a faux step card. So it stands up. It's really cute. Look at that. Right. It's really simple to make. So this is the front. This is the back. So you can write on the back right here a little sentiment if you want. I'm basically going to show you how to cut um, the base of the card. So right here, we're going to use pretty much this whole sheet. There might be just a little piece of this left over, but yeah, this comes in in your kit. Um, the other supplies you're going to need, which we'll have a list um, over on our blog post, tells you all the measurements, uh, the cutting guide or whatever, uh, and the scoring guide, and all the pieces that you need. In addition to this, okay? So to get started, we're gonna go ahead, well, let's assemble our card first. So we have this piece right here that has three score lines on it, and it measures four and a quarter by nine inches, scored at one and a quarter, actually this is one and a quarter, two and a half and five and three fourths. Now I'm using just regular um, basic white. We're not using thick white just because we're adding all these layers onto it and it just, it makes a nice sturdy card. All right, so this piece right here is gonna be the top piece. So we're gonna, this is only got one score line. Whoops, one score line. We're gonna give this a good burnish. Bring in my bone folder which I chipped somehow. I have no idea how I did that. Okay, so now we got that piece. Now we're gonna grab the big one. And if you take a look at how I have this folded, that's kind of how we're gonna do the folding on this piece. Obviously, that is how we do it. So on um, the one and a quarter inch score line, we're gonna fold that piece down. Okay. Then we're going to fold this piece. Hold on, I gotta see what I'm doing here. Yes, then we're gonna fold this one down as well. And then we're gonna fold the bigger piece back, okay? Hold on, I gotta get this right. Down, down, oh, I gotta look. There we go. <laughs> I was folding it the wrong way. So you're gonna have, you're gonna fold, so you have a mountain, valley, mountain fold, okay? Just like that. Make sure you give these good burnish on all your folds, because this is gonna be what this other piece is gonna adhere to, all right? Now, at this point, if you want, you can, de um, you can put your designer series paper on right now, but I'm gonna do mine at the end. I use glue so I'm able to shimmy it in here and move it around a little bit. So completely up to you, but I'm gonna do it at the end. So being that this is the front of our card, I'm gonna take this piece here. The longer piece is gonna to adhere to the shorter piece in the front, okay? So we're gonna get glue or whatever your favorite adhesive is, and we're gonna attach it to that front piece. You're going to try and get it in the middle where it's even on top and bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of glue on there. And you can use, what's really nice about our new glass mat is you can use the guidelines on here to help you line up your paper. Okay, so we got that on there. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a burnish too, to just make sure it's adhered, okay? Now this piece, we're going to adhere to the back of this card, right here. 
So now I'm going to make sure that I have this lined up. And I'm going to fold it down like this. This will fit in an envelope too, you guys. Now, as I fold this over right here, I'm looking right here to see approximately, I don't know, maybe half an inch. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and I'm gonna put glue on this end. We're gonna fold it over onto the back piece like so. Give it a good burnish. And if you get a little glue out, that's okay because we're gonna be covering that up with a mat and we have our card base. Look at that, I told you it was really simple, you guys. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in our other pieces here. We have three mats, actually four, um, but three of them are the same size and a smaller one. And then we have our white piece. I'm gonna take our big white piece and I'm gonna adhere it to one of the purple mats. Okay, we're gonna set that off to the side. Um, I have an extra piece here that I'm gonna stamp a sentiment on, but what I did is beforehand is I went ahead and I got all my pieces cut off. So using the dies that match, this is called the Love of Spring Dies, and it is only for Paper Pumpkin subscribers. So if you're a subscriber, you can still order this, and um, it matches the January, February, and March um, paper pumpkin. So there it is right there. Item number is 164396, if you don't have it yet. So I used the one die right here, the leaf die, to get my leaves. And then what I did is I used a stamped image in our... Lost Lagoon right here and I stamped the leaves and then I fussy cut around it and then I took our sentiment just a little something for you stamped it in our gorgeous grape and then used our stylish shaped circle to die cut it out so I did that ahead of time so I'm going to remove that piece okay now we are set to start cutting our basically our card base that came in our paper pumpkin kit so now on here we want to make sure that we have our paper going the correct way so what I did is I, I cut the first piece in the front and then I made sure I had enough for this piece right here so we're gonna go ahead and cut this We need two pieces that are gonna measure three by four. One up here and one down here. So my four inches goes across this way. So I'm gonna cut this to four. And then I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna cut it, the first one, to one inch. I'm gonna turn it this way because it's easier and you can line up your paper at the top. So there's one inch. Turn it this way, I'm gonna do three inches. Okay, that's gonna go on the inside here and this piece will go on the front. Now I just need this piece here. So I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna cut to three inches. So now you have this piece left over and you have this piece left over, okay? On the back side, what I did is I took a half inch by three inch off of here. So I'm gonna cut this to three inches and I'm gonna cut it to a half an inch. Now we are all set to start putting this all together. How exciting, you guys. Now look at all these pieces you still have left over that you can put on other cards. Crazy, huh? Okay. 
Now, let's start with our mats. We're gonna go ahead and glue the purple onto the purple. We're gonna bring in the piece that goes on the back and we're gonna go ahead and glue this half inch piece to the white. And I put mine on the left hand side. You can put yours wherever. If it works on the right, if you wanna put it in the middle, completely up to you. Okay, there we have that. So for the front, I'm gonna start by adhering my purple piece first. We're gonna take the small one and lay that down right over this, which is kind of nice because it kind of covers up where these um, adhere to the front. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna add just a little bit of extra glue since I am sliding it in. And again, you can always do this ahead of time. And with that one, I'm just gonna give everything a good burnish to make sure everything is adhered nice. And for sure this one, hold on to it before you start burnishing on the inside. Don't want it to move on you if you're using glue. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna adhere this one to the back. Perfect, we got our base done. Now the fun part is just taking our pieces to the front. Again, I just kind of curled these up a little bit, totally up to you if you want. And I just put a little bit of glue and just kind of angled it off to the side. And then I took two of these pieces And then what I did is I just kind of popped off this top piece right here. We're gonna take our dimensionals and we're gonna pop up our sentiment on the front. And before we do that, I can't forget our ribbon, or our twine, I should say. Basically, all I do is I just wrap it around my fingers a few times. And then I just kind of somewhat make a figure eight in the middle, like that. I'm gonna try and get this on here. All right, and then last, what I did is I came in with our Tinsel Gems three pack and added some of these gorgeous green ones here down at the bottom. And there we have it, you guys. We have that done. Not too bad, not too shabby. Let me know what you think of that. Okay, now moving on to this one. Just gonna show you how we did this one. Now I used a lot of twine on this one. Basically thread it through and then I made like a triple bow um, ribbon for the front and then I just adhered it with a glue dot. I took our pieces that came with our paper pumpkin so we have the little one for stamped with, with. And then I took this piece here, obviously, to use our tag. But the fun thing that I did is I wanted to uh, use the love, but I wanted it to pop. So if you can tell, I popped it up on dimensionals. But what I did is I used our love die because it matches with this almost perfectly. And I used our adhesive sheets. So what I did is I die cut the love out and then adhered it to the back of our image here and it fit perfectly on here. Add a couple more of those gems on there and voila, you have it. So please make sure if you have any questions in regards to making this or need any other tips, please let us know. Thanks for watching.